I love you too. Watch this. Yo, I am back. You guys have requested this topic quite a bit. Today, we add the visibility check feature to our ESP. This trait will utilize the spotted attribute of the entities to tell whether they are visible to the player or not. It's not lightning quick, but it works. However, this feature does not work on teammates, but who cares for that? This tutorial builds upon the basic ESP video, so watch that before this one, or get the source code from the coffee page. Subscribe, like, or write a comment. I would love to hear the next feature you want me to cover. You can also find the Discord server in the description. But remember, comply with the terms of service for the game you're coding hacks on. Many games permit it, and it's essential to respect their guidelines. All Sweat C Sharp tutorials are designed with multiplayer disabled, and this tutorial will precisely demonstrate how to achieve that. Now enjoy this tutorial. Hello, hello. Welcome to yet another showcase. Today, we will explore the visibility check, or the spotted check, whatever you want to call it. We will change our basic ESP to have a color for when the character or pawn entity is hidden. We have it default set to black once it's hidden, and we change it to the normal color once they are spotted. Let's take a closer, closer look in game. So, before we run any application that manipulates the game's memory, we will go into Steam under the game Counter Strike 2. We will right click on the properties. We will add the launch option dash insecure. This is because without this, you can risk getting banned. Dash insecure will disable VAC and we can play on our own without harming anyone else's experience. So we can't join the normal matchmaking, but we can sit in a practice game all to ourselves and test our applications. So incredibly important, we can get banned otherwise. Inside the main menu, you can check that this is enabled by going into matchmaking, checking a map, and this window will come up saying that you have launched the game in Dash Insecure. Otherwise, do not run any applications that could get you banned. Here you can now instead go into practice and play with bots like this. All right, so instead of a practice game on Inferno, we will open the program. We can see now that we have lines to our boxes, but now they're black, or as long as the enemy is behind a wall, or to be really exact, when they're not spotted. If we move in view of them, you can see that it turned red. You can also confirm this by checking the minimap that they are spotted. If they are not on the minimap, they will not be red here. So, you can see he is spotted. These are not, they have black boxes. He has a red box. Then the cyan box. And so on. Now, even if our teammates are spotted, or the map says so, we will not have them change because the spotted value is zero. Well, even if they are spotted. They are our teammates, and this value won't really affect them. So what you can do if this is an issue, if you want your regular colors, you can change this in the in the source code. But if not, just keep it as it is. I like this sort of look with black boxes and changing. I 
hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. See ya. Alright, so we will start by opening our basic ESP project. You can either get it from the basic ESP YouTube tutorial or get it directly from the coffee page. So the first thing we will do is to add the spotted attribute to our entity. It's a boolean. We have either spotted them or we have not. After that, we can go into our renderer class and add the color that's default when they are hidden. So if they're behind a wall, we will set the color of the box to black. This is just a personal preference. You can choose whatever color you want. I don't really care. After that, we will go into our drawbox function and add a preliminary if statement. I forgot we need another variable, so we will go up to the class variables again. We will add a boolean enable visibility check to check it or uncheck it with a checkbox later on. This makes it possible to just check if the enable visibility check is true. If it is true, we will set the box color to a uh, inline if statement if entity is spotted or equal to true we will set the box color to the color of the hidden color which would be black in my case if they're not hidden we will just have the box color like it was before we will need to read this new attribute but we will also have to update our old offsets so we will head down to the a2x CS2 dumper, credit goes to him for this beautiful dumper where we can get updated offsets. We will go to the offsets.cs file and firstly update the entity list, view matrix, and local player palm. After that, we will go into the client.dll.cs file, also in the generated folder, and update the old origin, team num, life state, each player pawn, vec view offset. Then the two new offsets will be the entity spotted state under the player pawn, not the C4 weapon. And also be spotted. Now we're almost ready. We'll go into our program.cs and scroll down to the reading part of the file and set our entity.spotted, our new attribute. To the value of sweat.read bool current pawn with the entity spotted state plus the b spotted. This will read the current value of this entity. And because I forgot, let's just go into our renderer file again in our render void and add the checkbox that refers to the visibility check boolean. And now we're done. Let's try it out in game. So before we run any application that manipulates the game's memory, we will go into Steam under the game Counter Strike 2. We will right click on the properties. We will add the launch option dash insecure. This is because without this, you can risk getting banned. Dash insecure will disable VAC. And we can play on our own without harming anyone else's experience. So we can't join the normal matchmaking, but we can sit in a practice game all to ourselves and test our applications. So incredibly important, we can get banned otherwise. All right, so let's check out the results of our beautiful work. Here we are on Inferno with some bots in a practice game and we will take the project and click on run. If everything is correct, you should have something similar. Lines to the entities, these are the enemies, and black boxes if they are not hidden or rather spotted, spotted to be exact. We can still change the color. We can disable or enable this feature. But let's take a closer look. So they're not spotted, you can see on the minimap. But once we take a look at one, you can see that he is now spotted on the minimap and our box turned red. Another one, another one, 
These are not spotted. He is spotted. What is spotted? And so on. We can change the color like we usually do. And it looks really cool. It's not perfect. Here we can see disable, enable, disable the ESP, so on. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I'll see you in the next one.